How can I help you? I'll take a number 99, Aaron's way. For all those lovers of subs, here are some fascinating behind the scenes facts about Jersey Mike's you may not know about. Put your taste buds on standby as we bring you the top 10 untold truths of Jersey Mike's subs. Be a sub above. Jennifer Lopez may have contributed to some popularity. You can ask my special guest, Miss Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez released the video for her single, Dinero, featuring Cardi B and DJ Khaled in 2018. But the real winner of the video is the Jersey Mike's product placement. In one clip, she is shown wearing a fancy gown and eating a meal from Jersey Mike's at the bottom of a staircase. This video now has over 110 million views, which is not a bad amount of exposure at all. It's strictly business. There is a secret Jersey Mike's menu. Shh, come here, it's a secret. This information comes courtesy of a Reddit user who worked at a Jersey Mike's. The 99 is a Philly cheesesteak topped with four slices of cheese, either American or pepper jack, onions, peppers, jalapeno, and mushrooms finished with chipotle mayo. The 11 features provolone cheese, ham, and salami. You can also get a BLT with mayo, known as the number one. A lesser known option is the chickafilaroni, which features chicken, grilled onions with pepperoni thrown in, and then chipotle mayo, marinara, and or ranch. There's also a turkey pepperoni sub option. You can also get the cancro special, which includes roast beef, pepperoni, and provolone cheese. It's a sub that Cancro himself used to order when he was young and just discovering the magic that is sub sandwiches. A few years ago, it was taken off the menu because it just wasn't as popular anymore. But it's still available if you ask for it. You gotta ask me nicely. Jersey Mike's teamed up with the New York Yankees. Grade school t-ball versus the New York Yankees. Given that Cancro is a big sports fan and gave up his dreams of playing college football to take over the sub shop, it's no surprise that he also got the chain involved with Major League Baseball. In 2015, Jersey Mike's was named the official sub sandwich shop of the Yankees. This partnership involved the Yankees providing the restaurant with tickets to give away in-store, as well as big, bright LED signs in Yankee Stadium. The Yankees are one of the most well-known MLB teams, and Yankee Stadium is probably one of the most famous venues, so this partnership helped propel the company further with customers on the East Coast. Family, religion, friendship, these are the three D you must slay if you wish to succeed in business. It also wasn't just the Yankees that got a sports-themed partnership with Jersey Mike's. In 2018, the restaurant branched out and entered the world of eSports video game competitions by sponsoring a League of Legends championship series called The Summer Split. The menu offers a decent amount of healthy food items. Can I get the 13? Mike's way. Ah, that's my favorite sub. You know, a good sandwich choice is a good life choice. A study in 2014 ranked Jersey Mike's in the top 10 healthiest fast food restaurants in America. This rank was given based on certain criteria, such as a percentage of menu items that met the study's standards for healthy food and the number of lower calorie options available. Just make sure you avoid the buffalo chicken cheese steak if you are trying to eat healthier, which clocks in at just under 2,000 calories. Go take a bite of his cheese, young lady, right now. They have plenty of options for different diets as well. For example, if you're on a low-carb or keto diet, you can get the sub-in-a-tub option. You just order your favorite sub and ask for it in a tub, and the toppings are served on a bed of fresh shredded lettuce instead of on a bun. If you're celiac or on a gluten-free diet, they have gluten-free bread options. Another major aspect of Jersey Mike's healthier status is the fact that it has dedicated itself to serving fresh fresh ingredients. The loaves of bread are baked in-house every day, and the meat is sliced fresh daily as well. The roast beef and turkey are both cooked in the restaurant, and the cheese steaks are cooked on the grill in front of each customer. All of the vegetables are fresh and cut that morning. What is your problem? Do not interrupt the god I'm just kidding. Work, Relax. Jersey Mike's share of controversy. 
use this to reinvent ourselves, make things bigger and better. In August 2018, a pregnant woman who was employed at a Jersey Mike's location in Marysville, Washington, caused quite a media stir when she announced that she had been fired for being pregnant. The soon-to-be mom said it all started when she realized that she wasn't being scheduled for any shifts. This occurred after she had informed her boss that she was pregnant and would need to go on maternity leave when the time came. After realizing she hadn't been scheduled, she texted her manager and asked about it. According to the news report, the manager responded by telling her that she was fired and that it wasn't a good time to have an employee who was going to go on maternity leave. But baby, all our financial plans are ruined. In Washington, it's considered a form of workplace discrimination to fire someone for being pregnant. Naturally, after posting about the situation on social media, she was offered her job back by the owner of the franchise. The manager who had fired her resigned, and the owner issued a public apology. For obvious reasons, she declined the offer. However, she had received a flood of other job offers from different employers, so things worked out for her in the end. Pregnant? No! The target audience is the business lunch crowd. Lunch. While you may think that a sandwich shop decorated and named after the Jersey Shore may be more inclined to attract young college students or beach bums, especially when you take their decor and vibe into consideration, but Jersey Mike's main target audience is actually business people grabbing lunch. If you take a look at most of the commercials, you see young professionals in their 20s and 30s with shots of offices. No signs of families with children or young teenagers until recently in their family dinner ad. Voiceovers also often include quirky, clever humor that appeals to this demographic. Safe travels, my friend. Thanks, man. Oh, no, I... I'll talk into the sub. The quick grab and go system that many of Jersey Mike's customers enjoy is perfectly in line with this target market as well. In fact, Jersey Mike's has recently begun opening locations at airports in the United States. There are currently a handful of airports with Jersey Mike's locations, which is perfect for landing customers who take frequent business trips. I hope our flight's on time. Oh, it is. See? Jersey Mike's Diverse Franchise Owners You're welcome! What? No, no, no! Franchise owners in Jersey Mike's roster are a lovely blend of different people from different walks of life. Among franchise owners are former employees and customers, Fortune 500 execs, and even some professional athletes, Yankees retiree Morgan Ensberg and former NFLer Angelo Crowell. Ultimately, as long as you share Cancro's passion for subs, business, and charity, you can be qualified to purchase a franchise. Gals that are coming in that uh, just have the passion for the business and we mm -hmm. teach them. But before you start considering opening up your own Jersey Mike's franchise, first you need an initial franchise fee of about $18,500 plus another $5,000 for construction and real estate fees and then security deposits. You can apply to be a franchise owner online on the website and then an interview process begins. Each franchise owner is also brought out to New Jersey to meet with Cancro and spend some time working right on the front lines in the field. Once you do this, though, so, when it comes time to build your new Jersey Mike's location, the company provides architects, contractors, and real estate assistance for you to make things easier while you're getting started. Let's get started. Are you ready? The recession nearly killed the franchise. I declare bankruptcy! By 1991, the sub chain had been undergoing massive growth and expansion across the country, but it came to a sharp halt that year when the recession hit. Cancro had franchised about 35 stores by then, but didn't have a lot of extra cash laying around for an emergency fund. Banks weren't giving out any loans, so no one could open new locations. Employees at the company's headquarters had to be laid off, leaving Cancro to work triple time and manage most of the operations on his own. In an interview in 2015, Cancro reflected on this dark time and stated, I didn't declare bankruptcy, but I was negative $2 million to $5 million. But he didn't give up and instead threw all of his efforts into visiting each store, working closely with franchise owners and 
and slowly rebuilding. As soon as the chain found its feet again, Cancro tracked down each employee that had been laid off and rehired them one by one. Now, the chain has 1,400 restaurants across the country and reaches about $1 billion in sales every year. One million, two million, three million, four! Peter Cancro became CEO at 17 years old. Your 17-year-old kid does not control our budget. In 1975, at age 17, Peter Cancro had developed a fondness for subs from a local mom-and-pop sandwich joint, Mike's Subs, in Point Pleasant, a Jersey Shore town popular with tourists. He had been working there part-time since age 14. That year, the owners of Mike's Subs decided to hang up their hats and sell the shop. At this time, Cancro was a high school senior mulling over a college football career. His football coach, Rod Smith also happened to be a banker and agreed to set up a loan to lend the kid $150,000 to buy Mike's subs. Thus, the 17-year-old was now a proud business owner. Shortly after, Cancro married his wife, Linda, and the two opened a few more locations locally. These little shops gained a significant following and became popular with tourists and locals. Legend has it that people started expressing their disappointment that they couldn't get these subs back home. So, Cancro considered the option of franchising. A little while later, in 1987, Cancro renamed the store Jersey Mike Subs, an homage to his Jersey Shore roots, and launched it as a franchise in the United States. The best part of running your own franchise, picking your Sammy Fammy. Jersey Mike's charity game is strong. Jersey Mike's does a substantial amount of charity work through something the company refers to as a culture of giving. The chain has worked with about 170 different charities. Between 2010 and 2018, over $28 million was raised for charity. On the website, you can view an updated list of the year's contributions and the charities they've helped. Every July, Jersey Mike's runs a campaign raising money for wreaths across America. In 2011, they ran fundraising campaigns for the Lakers Youth Foundation and gave free regular subs in exchange for donations of $1 or more. Each Jersey Mike's location also has a charity that it is partnered with, chosen when it initially opens its doors. Throughout the month of March, campaigns run encouraging customers to come in and donate to these local charities while they chow down on their subs. Then, on the last Wednesday of March, 100% of the restaurant's sales for that day are donated to that local charity. When Hurricanes Irma and Harvey hit in 2017, Jersey Mike's launched a sub fundraiser and raised $361,533 to help support local food banks in devastated areas. On top of that, restaurants in those areas also provided thousands of free subs to all of the relief workers, first responders, firefighters, and residents who were in need. In 2017, Jersey Mike's donated to Canines for Warriors, an organization that helps provide veterans with service dogs. Are you running a business or a charity? Hungry for more? Tap on that screen for more great videos, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.